I mean, is talk to me about that process of, yeah, kind of being the drummer and you're both the foundation of the song, but also, I don't know, your start and the end of the song somehow in the songwriting process to me. So, I mean, for, for us, when we wrote, when we wrote this record, um, actually, I would say going back to when we, when Iniquity was mm-hmm. going to be coming out, that was, that was the first single. Mm-hmm. Um, every song that Maddie and Boomer and Zach had put together, um, you know, it already had programmed drums that Maddie would do on it, which wasn't far off from what I would do. So I would just kind of take what he did and I would kind of spice it up a little bit more. Mm-hmm. And, um, and then if there was something that, you know, maybe sounded a little bit better to me that I liked better, like I would, I would change that out entirely Mm -hmm. and just record it myself. And, um, that process is very time consuming. Um, the recording process is not, I recorded the album in four hours. Really? Yeah. Uh, in, in a studio, in your room or your room yourself? Interesting. These only stems out to be tracked, but you're. So I, you know, I had my own studio That's set up. Unbelievable. Yeah. Please. Yeah. So I recorded it all, and uh, once I was done recording it, I would start editing all of it, mm-hmm. um, and then I would actually send some of them to Maddie for him to also do, you know, do his due diligence in, and by, in editing that as well. By editing, you mean like retiming so each of the the sixteenth notes is yeah, on the sixteenth. Yeah. So 16th everything, or you know, whatever. like it's. When you track something with an e kit and you're using MIDI and stuff like that, you have the the latency. Mm-hmm. So, in trying to combat that and make everything you know tight, mm-hmm. as tight as you can, because that latency is really like messing you up. You know, you kind of have to just kind of move everything a little bit over, mm-hmm. and and that's pretty much it. You Four know? hours. So of course you have demos done, like you know what you're going to play, but still, it's yeah. It's Recording everything is just like the it's the easiest part, mm-hmm. especially when you know you have, like I had the ideas of what all the songs were like with the program drums at the start for mm-hmm. our pre-production, but then when I went in to record it, I just kind of like threw my flair on certain parts and did my own thing on parts that I thought would sound better. And then that was it. And it was quick, very how, quick. Uh, I'm blown away by how quick it is, but how do you like, how does recording an E kit compared to a, a physical kit for you? I feel like the, I assume that a high level E kit is as close to real kit as you can get, but I assume there is still a difference there. But. I would always prefer a studio.